Okay, continuing with the previous definition on concepts of ROS, now we're talking about publishers and subscribers. Okay, as you see here, there are several kinds of flows here, but let's focus more on the publisher and the subscriber. As you can see here, between the publisher and the subscribers, there is a topic. The topic is where the names are available for communication from the publisher to the subscriber but the way that they communicate between them is about messages so a publisher sends us a message and each subscriber that is obviously subscribed to that topic can hear the message so for example we can have one publisher and many subscribers to that topic, not only one. For example, another thing could be, let's see, let's see, okay, an example could be a node that is publishing from the camera, and then there are two topics, one, sorry, one topic, but two nodes. One is receiving the information for the camera for object detection, and the other is receiving the information from the camera for semantic segmentation, for example. And in that way, uh, you can communicate between uh, the nodes using publishers and subscribers. That's the main idea of publishers and, sub and subscribers in ROS. So, for example, now understanding more about the publishing and subscribers methods and uh, commands. Let's take a, an example on how to run or handle a node. We will use obviously our default simulator that is Turtle Scene. Okay. Now when we launch Turtle Scene, we got that we got uh, that window, and let's see how many nodes are present when we launch turtle sim node with ros2 node list we can see that there is no node present right now obviously not because i didn't call it correctly ros2 node list here now as we can see, we have one node called Turtle Sim, and it's because we launched the window of Turtle Sim. Well, if we now call the let's call the teleop key in press to run Turtle Sim Turtle teleop key. Here and call again the roster node list. Now we have also the teleop turtle and node, that's the name of the teleop key. Also, we can Launch turtle sim node and remap, remapping the name of the turtle or or the node of the turtle. For example, let's do a remapping. Just to run turtle sim, turtle sim node, turtle sim node, cross arcs remap and the node is my turtle. Okay, now call again the... Now you have uh, three nodes, one for this window, this one for another window, and the teleop key. So both boats here are for the turtle sim simulator and this one is for the teleop key for this throttle scene simulator. Now, 
now that we have the, the all those three nodes, let's check a little bit more about another command. Use of a command is ROS2 node info. Info. And we can check information about the node that we are trying to request information for. Let's use turtle sim. Here you will see a list of publishers, subscribers, services, and actions. Services are, are here. There are service servers and service clients. There is no service client and one action server and no action clients. So now um, let's understand a little bit more about uh, what's happening here, what is connected between what using RQT graph, ROS2 run, RQT graph, RQT graph. Okay. Here you see there are two turtles, two simulators that are connected via the teleop key. And the uh, teleop key is publishing over the topic turtle one command bell that is causing actions over it. So if we move it, obviously we will see that the turtle is moving too. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic about nodes. Uh, right now, some probably is not taking too much sense about what we're doing, just running commands over the simulation window. But when we enter with the basic of the client libraries using Python and, and C++, you will get a quite brief of what's happening under the hood over ROS. And everything, if you understand, uh, the basics about the command line interface tools and the basic of client libraries, you practically are ready to do simple manipulations over uh, rows and making some easy applications. So that's all. I hope it keeps a little bit clearer now. And let's move to the next chapter about topics.